Hi everyone, I'm Terry Combs. Hi, I'm Jay Bassell and we're from Equipment Zone. This isn't our normal setting, you know, Jay. We, we, have our, we have our broadcast area in New Jersey. We have our broadcast area in Tempe, Arizona. Looks nothing like it. No, not nearly as cool, I gotta be frank. We have been amazing opportunity to come tour the, what I call the big mothership. Big Blue, that's right folks, we're in California at Epson America World Headquarters, or is it just America Headquarters? I don't know, I feel like it's global headquarters. <laughs> it's big, I it's know that. It's a big deal, let's be real. We had an awesome tour today. Yeah. Lots of new things here at Epson and their brand new facilities, so that's exciting, but, but we're really here for a reason. Uh, the Epson F2270, the brand new printer, we don't have one yet. We don't have one in New Jersey, we don't have one in, and no one has one, so we thought let's uh, let's hop on a plane from Phoenix yep. and go to Southern California this We're, morning. We got so excited to come out, we just said, let's go, rather than us wait, let's go do this. Let's meet the printer where it already is. So Epson was so gracious uh, to let us come out and tour the facility and then we're gonna sh we're gonna shoot some video. We're gonna do yeah, a absolutely. series of, of what what's to, what's to expect. New features, new benefits. Um, Terry, aren't, aren't you gonna kinda get under the hood and show yeah, us Yeah, exactly right. Show you some things that are new with this printer compared with say the F2100 and uh, and we're going to go through all of that for you in a, in a series of videos. Yeah, no, one of the things that we're most excited about is of course the features and the new benefits and all of that, but the reality is, is we need to know what to prepare for so that we're ready for tech and service and support as well. Because as you know, Equipment Zone prides itself on amazing support and amazing service after the sale. And so uh, the reality is, is we got to get our stuff together. We need to right. know what's going on. So coming over to California was fun, but it's also work. And we're excited to share more about the F2270. So Terry, anything else? Well, yeah, we want to get a head start so that, as you said, we can be ready to roll when these machines start shipping this fall. And uh, let's go through it now, Jay. Let's go. I'm ready. Are you fired up? I'm fired up. Pumped up. Okay, here come the videos. The first thing we do every day is a nozzle check. It's a little bit different on the F2270 compared with the F2100. So let's take a look. Now when you're loading your film on, in the past on some printers, you're gonna put a strip of tape across here, but this nozzle check is a little taller than a three inch tape. So we're gonna use a piece of film and just lay it on the um, platen. Then I'm gonna go over here and click my maintenance button. Next is print head nozzle check. I'm going to hit start and the print button. And we have our perfect nozzle check. After I do a nozzle check, it's going to ask me if I've had a good nozzle check or a bad nozzle check. So let's just assume that it was a bad one. I'm going to hit the X, and it's going to give me some options, a light clean, a medium clean, a heavy clean. But on this printer also, I have auto clean. And auto clean is going to uh, just find the nozzles that need to be cleaned. And so I can click on auto clean, and it will go through that process for me. One of the new features on the F2270 is a much larger menu screen. It's easier to maneuver around and and much more robust. The instructions are going into much more detail and uh, uh, all in all, it's just an easier screen to use, especially for the novice printer. Something else about the F2270 that you might notice is a little different than previous printers is the flat top. So you can lay your shirts on, you can have your laptop, much easier access as well. This printer also is a little more compact so that you could push it back against the wall to give you a little more working room. Let's talk a little bit about maintenance. I'm gonna press the maintenance icon and then I'm gonna select cleaning the maintenance parts. Something I'm gonna do every week is clean the suction cup. So I'm gonna press that and start. It's gonna load the platen in and it will prompt me to lift the cover. And here's what I really want you to see. On this printer, when, I, when it says how to, it's going to show me step by step with diagrams exactly how to do this function. And it does this for all the different maintenance functions. So even the novice printer 
it will be very, very easy for you to go in and do these different functions. All right, Jay, well, they let us stay just long enough to do one more print. The lights are being turned out, and <laughs> they're going to kick us out of here and send us off to the airport. But uh, we are printing uh, a, uh, a black shirt right now with one of our graphics, and I uh, uh, want to talk a little bit about the transitioning from, from garment to garment. There's a faster processing speed uh, on the software, faster processing speed on the printer. And you know what that means, Jay? That means more output. I know all about production. This is a production guy, so as soon <laughs> as he heard that, he got excited. Very much so. So we're also going to talk a little bit about the transitioning between different garments. I, we could go from a t-shirt to a sweatshirt. Uh, what we're going to do now is when this shirt comes off, I'm going to take the shirt off. Jay's going to load film and the, uh, the printer is going to auto adjust to the height of what we're printing. So another step that's taken away from uh, previous models. Exactly. So let me take that shirt Increase off, Jay. That production. I'm going to set the film on, Terry, because in a real world setting, we're going to be going back and forth between hoodies, between film, between t-shirts, and I think it's ready. If we hit that button, we're ready to roll. So it's making that adjustment now. There it goes, it just started printing. How cool is it that we're printing equipment's own logo here in Epson? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's legal, right? We can do this? I, like I said, everybody's gone home, so yeah. it's all good. But uh, making that instantaneous switch from a t-shirt to a, to a film or a t-shirt to a film to a sweatshirt, just as quick as that. Here we go. The anticipation, right? I know. And in the software, there is an option, of course, to select either film or garment uh, much more quickly than, than in previous versions of the software as well. So made that film selection, sent the file, and almost instantaneously came to the printer ready to print. Yeah, we were both shocked how fast it was already lit up and it was blinking waiting for us. And that's it. Coming back over, here comes the white. <laughs> and for anybody who's not doing uh, DTF transfers on their DTG printer, the next step is going to be to apply the adhesive powder, uh, dry that, cure that, and then heat apply it onto a garment. Yeah, it's really taken the industry by storm. It's the flexibility of being able to apply to a wide variety of substrates. So, Clearly, this is quite a large print, but if I were doing something like a jacket that was a 60-40 blend or 100% polyester, I'm not limited anymore. And so for us, this, this increase in abilities, increase in versatilities, I think is just a complete game changer. Well, look at that. That is magic right there before you. I'm going to hold it up so you all can see it. Look at that, Terry. Fantastic. Jay, I think we're going to have to head back to Arizona. And uh, thanks so much to everybody at Epson for allowing us to come over and play on the equipment and even buy us lunch today. Fabulous.